Have you been debating on focusing on more commercial or residential and how to structure your junk removal business? I think this is going to be a really quick and solid video for you guys. I had a really interesting call with someone today who's in the process of building their junk removal business. Who had some really great questions. And one of them was really where they should align on their focus of residential and commercial work for junk removal. So they wanted to know, does it make sense to just focus on the commercial side of things and maybe almost do away with trying to do anything on the residential side? And would that be something that they could do to structure their business in that way? And I'm sure some of you have some of those same thoughts or have considered going that route or maybe vice versa. Maybe some of you are more aligned towards residential. Typically, it's the other way around and you're looking to bring in more commercial work, right? So you could definitely do this. We work with a few companies who I wouldn't say they're 100% commercial, but probably more lined towards 70 to 80% commercial and then 20% residential. And I know there's some out there who are almost nearly 100% commercial, they really don't want to do anything on residential. So here's the upsides and the downsides to that if you're looking to accomplish that feat for your business. So commercial, the main thing is, you know, 90%, 95% of you want commercial work, want the clean outs, you want the big jobs, right? That's what you want to focus on. And so does everybody else. The problem with that is, is that there's only so much demand for those keywords, right? So if you came in and you're like, hey, Blake, I only want to focus on clean outs and commercial work. I would tell you, I'd say, we can do that and we can focus on our outreach and, and stuff there. However, keep in mind that with the ads, you're not going to have as much calls or as much traffic because those keywords are going to be limited in traffic in comparison to junk. The other side of this is that people who need clean outs will search junk removal, right? So you're going to lose out on some of that traffic and some of those calls, because if you show up first junk removal, that's going to be all kinds of calls, anything from clean outs to single item pickups, right? And that's the most popular search term. So most people are going to look for that in their area, in their town, what have you, to see if they can get that job done in a variety of different jobs using that keyword. Okay. So if you're looking to accomplish this and you want to align your business more towards clean outs and commercial work, that's going to really come down mostly to your relationship building and the things that you build um, with those relationships. But it can come in the form of Google Ads as well, and you can focus on those things. Just keep in mind that you're not going to have as much activity as you do if you're focusing on both residential and clean outs and commercials. All right. So that's sort of the downside. Now, over time, as you scale the business, if you want to lean more in that direction, It'll be a little bit easier because you'll have people you've either worked with in the past, you've built relationships for that are going to send you work for that. Or you may be in a market that just has a lot of work for that. Demolition is a good outlet to kind of lean into more commercial work and more larger jobs as well. If you're willing to do demolition or if you have the capability to do so in your area, obviously certain areas have restrictions. That's another place that you could really lean on as far as getting large volume numbers um, per job, limited quantities, but again, it's a simple way for you to bring in 20, 30, 40, $50,000 on a job, depending on the size and even north of those numbers, depending on what it is. But the quantity will always be the issue if you go that route. So keep that in mind. Um, ideally, my opinion would be I would like to have a little bit of both, especially if you have a team in place. That way you can make sure you're keeping one of your guys or, you know, a few of your guys busy, depending on how big your team is. You can keep them busier with some of the residential work, but still focus mostly on the bigger jobs using some of the smaller stuff, mainly as placeholders. But there's no right or wrong way to go about it. So don't let somebody like myself or anybody else tell you, you need to go this direction or that direction. It's up to you to build a business the way that you want to build it. But keep the things that I mentioned in mind. There will be some disadvantages, especially early on, if you go that route. And it's typically the biggest disadvantage. It's just going to be limited number of opportunities if you do decide to focus more on that aspect of things. So hope this helps some of you guys who have had that question or maybe you're trying to 
accomplish that in your business. And if you have any other questions on it, leave them in the comments and I'll be happy to answer. Appreciate you guys for watching. Have a great day.